Hey, Mark Testa here with health tips you can use today. Have you heard of intermittent fasting? I'm sure you have. It's everywhere nowadays. And I want to talk about it because I think it is a really valuable and easily actionable thing that we can do to impact our health and um, a lot of other things. So numerous preclinical this is animal studies, and clinical studies in humans have pointed that intermittent fasting can be beneficial in, in many ways. So what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is a set time period where you don't eat. Now, historically, we've done that between dinner and breakfast, and that's what the word breakfast is, breaking the fast. And so what happens, though, and what has happened over the course of the last 50 years is we've had access to too much food too easily, too often, and we eat too much. And Sashin Panda, who's done a lot of the research from the Salk Institute on this and using his app, has really identified that people around the world tend to eat 15 plus hours a day. So we are consuming energy, calories, carbohydrates, and things 15 hours of the day. And this just is not a sustainable way to have healthy longevity or keep from putting on a lot of weight. And all we've got to do is look around us or look at the numbers and see that this is not working. There's a lot of obesity and overweight in the world and in the United States. 90 million Americans in the U.S. are pre-diabetic. And a lot of it has to do with never giving our body a break from nutrition. So intermittent fasting can be a time period of 12 to 18 hours where you don't eat and you really compress your eating window to maybe 12 to 6 hours. Now everyone's different. I recommend you talk to a doctor around this. Make sure that you don't have uh, other health related problems. You know, make sure you're not a, a diabetic or on diabetes medications because what the body needs to do then when we're not eating and we give it 12 hours or so of no more calories is the blood sugar levels drop and our body starts to look at our energy stores as fuel. That is fat. And so intermittent fasting can space out this time period of not eating so our body starts to look at fat as fuel and start to burn fat as fuel. When we're eating all the time, Insulin levels are high, and there's this other hormone in our body called glucagon. Glucagon can't work when insulin levels are high, and glucagon is what moves energy into the bloodstream to be used as fuel. So if insulin's high all the time, glucagon's low. And so we want to bring down insulin by not feeding energy to the body all the time so glucagon can go high and start to burn fat as fuel. So how long should you fast? That's up to you and your doctor. I recommend you talk to someone around this. Definitely learn more around it. But I think it's really reasonable and easy for people to do a 12-hour fast. So be done eating by 7 and eat breakfast at 7. That seems very reasonable. Also, two things affect our sleep adversely more than anything. It's food and light. And so I recommend people be done eating three hours before bed if you can do that. Two at the minimum. And then make everything as dark as possible. I talked about that in a different video, so I'm not going to get into it here today. But intermittent fasting. And get your body used to a 12-12 fast where you're not eating uh, for that period of time. And if it feels good, and if you're getting beneficial results and you have no medical contraindications to that, start expanding that time period. Maybe it's 13 hours. Maybe it's 14 hours. But you've got to do what's right. With women... I don't think going more than 14 hours is ideal. More is not always better for people, but this is just a beginner's look at intermittent fasting. Something to consider. We've seen in clinical and preclinical trials improvement in inflammation, improvement in liver function, weight loss, sleep, uh, many different things, blood glucose levels, insulin levels. So a lot of good stuff coming from not overfeeding our body on an all-day, 15-hour basis, seven days a week. Something to consider. Talk to your doctor around this. I think it's safe to start out 
at a 12 hour fast. I don't think it's difficult. Historically, our ancestors went even longer, but even our grandparents and our parents probably stopped eating by seven and didn't eat until breakfast again. So something to think about. Talk to your doctor about it. Health tips you can use. I will see you in the next video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more good tips you can do at home. We'll see you then.